positive people out there. That was just some free playing I was doing. I was just playing what I was hearing. It started out with a really simple idea, kind of went a couple different directions there, started getting into more of a groove, and then just kind of ended it. And the whole point of that exercise is really just playing what you're hearing and expressing what you're feeling. Most importantly, you're connecting with your instrument, whether it be a saxophone, trumpet, clarinet, flute, whatever you're playing. Um, you. Guitar players, pianists, and bassists, you guys have it a little easier because you can sing and play at the same time because you're not blowing any notes through a, blowing any air through an instrument, right? So yeah, that's that's it for today. That's the lesson, actually. All of that, you know, just go have fun and play your instrument, right? Um, <laughs> no, but, but honestly, I think that's a really valuable practice technique is to play what you hear and and sometimes it's difficult to play what you hear when you got all these changes going by or you're learning a new tune and you don't quite have it memorized or, or whatever whatever place you're in but I, but what what you do is just start simple don't don't think about a song don't think about anything just just play what you're hearing start with three or four notes make a little melody out of those three or four notes and then start expanding on the idea and once you ex once you've expanded on the idea Make sure you stay within your realm of, of what your ears are keeping you. You know, you're singing along in your in your head with what's coming out of your instrument. And if you get off the rails, you know, you're just like getting all all squirrely and you're just like, whoa, 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 what am I doing? I'm getting, I'm like, what am I playing here? What is that craziness? If, if for some reason you get off, just go back to that original melody and, and, and keep it simple and just, and you don't have to play in time. You don't have to play in chord changes, like I said before. You don't, just, just play what you're feeling, play what you're hearing. This can be moved to a more formal, strict standard, right? You can you can play a standard, you can play a blues, you can play, you can play with a metronome, you can play with a like a drumming backbeat or something. Um, I suggest don't don't play with a play along. Play with like a metronome or just a drum beat uh, that you like. Try to keep it the same way. Keep it simple and play along with that, and then expand from there. And and if you get if you get off the rails, like I said, just c pull yourself back in. So yeah, so go practice and just. Play, have fun, you know, go play free and have fun and most importantly have fun and play what you're hearing. That's it for today. Really short and sweet. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your time. Hopefully you got something out of this quick short lesson and you start playing what you're hearing, right? That's, that's the goal. Stay positive, stay progressing. Thanks again. Take care. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>